Hello everybody here from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today on the show we have John Berry. How John, are you? I'm doing fine. Nice How's it going? Going great. Nice to see you. So John, the last time we talked about your music and everything else. So time to show up who you are in the real life. Okay. <laughs> so John, um, tell us a little bit about your personality. How would you describe yourself when oh. someone likes to know who you are when you are private around Nashville? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty quiet. I, I'm, I stay home a lot. I don't go out and romp the town or anything, you know. And uh, uh, I'm married. My wife and I have been married for uh, 29 years uh, this coming summer. And uh, we've raised three children who are now grown. And uh, but uh, but as far as personality, I'm pretty quiet and pretty laid back, and you know. So, are your children follow your footsteps, or are they in different business? Uh, my youngest is a drummer, and he's a remarkable drummer. He's playing for me right now, but he's out playing with other people as well. And I'm trying to get him on to the big show. He's he's really really talented. And uh, then our. our middle child Sean is uh, he's a singer songwriter he lives out in Texas and uh, he he likes that Texas style country a little more than what we do here in Nashville and and he's really good at it getting to be a quite a good guitar player and uh, so he's doing some law enforcement work as well as doing music and then our oldest is our daughter Taylor Marie and uh, she just got married this past Saturday and uh, she is a, a lovely dancer but she has uh, gotten her dream job being a flight attendant for a major airline so we're excited for her so John, uh, since you're in the position to do just the concerts you like to do, is your wife happy about that? Well, she travels and sings in the band. Oh. Yeah, so uh, we love to work and we do a lot of dates as, as much as we can. We, we do a Christmas tour each year, usually between 20 and 25 cities each year. And we, we've done that for 20 years now. And, uh, and then throughout the year, we probably do another between 50 and 100 shows throughout the year. So. So, John, what was the last book you read? Oh, last book I read. I'm actually reading Jimmy Wayne's book right now. Okay. Uh, the artist, singer, songwriter, yep. Jimmy Wayne. And it's quite good. And um, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, John, we are waiting all for something which is really special. And I know you have there something. Like what? Like the next city. The next city? Yes. Oh gosh, uh, what, what, where I'm playing at? Yep. Oh, actually, I'm playing um, in a very small town, Friday night in Lagrange, Georgia. Yep. And uh, I'm playing a small theater there. And it's just me and my guitar, and I'm going to go down there and play on Saturday. And then Sunday, we're going. I'm going further south uh, to Tifton, Georgia, where I did live for a couple of years and I still have a lot of friends there. And uh, several, there's several T. Graham Brown's going to be there, and Buddy Jewell's going to be there, and several other artists are showing up. We're doing a benefit show. A tornado ripped through there just a few weeks ago, and uh, 22 people lost their lives and n hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. And so we're doing a benefit to help try to raise some money to meet some immediate needs on this coming this coming Sunday. So, John, when you staying at home, um, is it something like? for you you enjoy or do you want to go more on tour I like being on tour no oh, I love being on tour I do but I do like being at home when I'm home I uh, I've got a, a great little office set up at home and a music room and uh, so I like to write there and um, uh, I like to work on my bus I've got an old Silver Eagle bus that it's, I'm res I've restored and I'm still working on it I got a few things few projects left on it before we get it painted the interior just finished and working on the exterior now it's a great old bus and uh, so I love it going up down the road more than sitting at home working on it <laughs> oh okay love touring so what do you think when is the bus finished um, the next five I, years oh yeah well yeah we, I'll be done by then <laughs> I'll be done I'll be done singing by then so we'll have it wrapped up by this time next year so oh cool so you pick up your wife and then touring the US by yourself just to make a tourist Uh, no, well, um, uh, we're gonna, we're going to go out and do uh, tour dates and and uh, travel around and sing and 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 do our, we'll, like I said, we'll do 75 or so shows a year and and do those, that bit of touring and then we'll uh, do our Christmas tour each year and uh, and then other than that, we we pretty much stay home unless we go to the coast. Which was the best concert you can remember? Of mine? Yes. 
Gosh. We've had some great ones recently because, like I said, we just finished our Christmas tour. I'd have to say one of our one of my favorites uh, of this season was Macon, Georgia. Uh, of course, a lot of your your uh, viewers will be familiar with the Allman Brothers Band being from Macon, Georgia. Yep. Allman Brothers, great town, a great music town, and they've got a theater there in Macon, the Grand Opera House. That's just lovely, lovely room, and I've played there. This was my 20th year playing there. And uh, it, it was a great night, great show there. Always a great show. Which wish you didn't re um, finished by yourself now? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, everybody of us had uh, a wish. He want to oh. get it done. So which one is yours? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm good. You're happy with all you have? Yeah. I, I don't think I need anything more. I think life's been great. Okay. So, what do you like to tell people which want to step to the music business? Um, put yourself on some alligator skin. Okay. It's tough business. It's a personal business. And they say, when people say, well, no, it's business, it's not personal. When you're talking about music and people's songs they've written, it's personal. People bear their souls and their heart in a song and then you look at them and go, eh. That's personal. So, so, what was the best that happened in the whole career in your life in the music business? Probably in 1995, which is hard to believe it's 22 years ago, um, I sang on the CMA Awards show. And I got to sing a song called If I Had Any Pride Left At All. And that was probably a career moment for me. I'll never, I'll never forget that. That was really awesome. So, John, If people want to keep up to date with you, what's the best way? Uh, well, there's several ways. We have johnberry.com as our website, and uh, uh, John Barry Music at Facebook, and John Barry Music on Instagram and um, Twitter. So we're, we're and we're pretty active with all that as well. Cool. So, folks, you know what to do if you want to keep up to date with him or stay here on Country Music News International. Have a great day here from Nashville, Tennessee.